Hi, today we're going to look at a watercolour technique called wet on wet. For many artists, as in the work of Emil Nold, working on a wet surface lets the colour move around and for the colours to mix on the paper. I'm going to use three colours to mix up two separate washes. The first is pure cadmium yellow. I'm mixing with just a touch of alizarin to dull the brightness of the cadmium in a clear glass so I can see the opacity of the paint as well as making sure it's evenly dispersed. The second wash is dominated by cerulean blue. It's a lovely granular colour to use wet on wet. I've added some alizarin crimson to make it into a light purple, so roughly 80% cerulean and 20% alizarin. I'm now wetting some of the paper here with water. You'll see why in a moment. It may not be obvious, but my work surface here is tilted at about 30 degrees. So this is the lightest wash. Already we can see the contrast where the paper has been left dry, as it's staying white against the yellow of the cadmium. Now I'm adding the purple. Initially the colours look very naive, but watch this as they slowly mix and separate on the paper. The alizarin through basic chromatography separates from the cerulean leaving the pink of the alizarin behind. I'm just going to take away some of the excess water from these hard lines with my brush. The tones I'm using are mixed slightly darker than I would with a dry and dry technique because they're diluting with the water already on the paper. Look here at how the sediment of the cerulean settled into the texture of the paper. And here, where the alizarin and the cerulean have separated from each other. Also areas here where the yellow and blue have made green. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how using colours on wet paper and by playing with the tilt of the paper you can achieve some interesting results. Thank you.